This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what's good guys? Nightwing2303 in Portland right now. And I'm actually here because of the Damian Lillard 3. It's um, like the actual news and press information is embargoed until about like 1.30 or so today. So I can't show any pictures, at least not right now. Although by the time you're seeing this video, it's gonna be after the fact anyway. So hopefully you follow me on Instagram and you follow Wear Testers on Instagram as well, as well as our Wear Testers news channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash wear testers, as well as weartesters.com itself, because that's where all the news is gonna be before this video is actually uploaded. Right now I'm in the hotel room. I don't like doing vlogs, but you guys like watching them. So I, you know what I mean? So here we are. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of like, working a little bit on the back end of the YouTube channel and uh, as well as the website here. So, you know, if you guys haven't seen it already, I did my top performance picks of 2016. And while I'm doing all of that stuff, I am listening to my very favorite YouTube channel. This is Collider News, Collider Movies, Collider Video, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is Jeremy Johns. He also has his own YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, got to be down in, or actually it's up, the lobby is hella weird in this place but i gotta be in the lobby by one o'clock so you know i'll check back in with you guys later on and uh see you soon Push. Product marketing? Yeah, and then you're the designer. Designer, okay. yeah. And you did the whole thing? The reason why I asked that is because the Harden Volume 1 was actually a collective design, so it wasn't as stupid as it sounded as it was coming out. At least not in my head. I did, yeah. It uh, started with Damien coming into the office and um, we, we first asked him, you know, like, what is, like, when we go to the Dame, he's, he's a musician, right? And so he's an authentic storyteller. Mm -hmm. And so we asked them, like, for the Dame 3, like, what's the story? Like, what's the, the true essence that you want to get across? And he started talking to us um, about the location that was most influential in his life. And it was outside of his grandmother's house, there was a telephone pole. And on this telephone pole, his grandfather used to nail milk crates, too. And that was his first hoop. That's where he learned to actually ball, was out in the streets on a milk crate tied to um, a telephone pole. No backboard, you know, you look at his shot now, how pure it is, it's gotta be when you're shooting a, a round ball through a square milk crate. <laughs> you know, with no backboard, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. And so really, he, th the essence of, of this um, Dame 3 is that he is, he's comes from very humble beginnings and he's very proud of that and he wants to use his story to influence and inspire um, kids and people from whatever walks of life you might be to follow your dreams and so he's been doubted his entire life at every level and he's always overcome those doubts and so he really sets to inspire people and to be kind of a man of the masses and a man of the people and he really embraces being that um, that role model and mm -hmm. wants to set a good path for people out there. Can I ask a question? Oh, what a rookie. Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. I was reading about the dual density setup. Uh -huh. So is this visually what it looks like? Yeah, so that's actually what you're looking at. You feel it too. So if you put it on the table and just push on it, you feel that this is a much softer foam underfoot, so that's what gives you a lot of the cushioning and the rebound and allows you to wear this shoe um, for 82 games, allows Dame to wear the shoe 82 games a season. And then we asked him what allowed him to play at the speeds that he played at. He tells us that sitting low in the shoe allows him to play with speed. And so feeling like the shoe is completely engulfing his foot mm -hmm. allows him to feel really connected with the shoe as if it's one and to have trust when he's banking at high speeds. And so this soft EVA here provides the cushioning, but if you feel the outside rim, that's a more firm kind of more supportive um, cage around the foot. Is this similar to the two? or it's completely different setup? It's uh, it's actually, that was also dual density bounce. Okay. The design and, and how high the sidewalls are is different. Mm -hmm. The sidewalls on the Dame 2 or D Lillard 2 
were a, a bit lower and a bit sleeker. And so that's why it, it might look like half of the shoe is this midsole and this bounce foam. And we wanted to showcase it because Damien loves boost, but he really likes bounce. He thinks from, a, from the performance and what it allows him to do, mm -hmm. he can play with a lot of confidence but again being the man of the people mm -hmm. he wants to make sure that his shoe is affordable and that it's attainable for a lot of people so he was telling us a story about like being young and lusting after certain shoes but knowing that he could never actually get them and, and the so feeling. yeah <laughs> right yeah and yeah. that's also why you know we asked him why he why he doesn't curse when he raps and again mm -hmm. he was like because I knew as a kid growing up, like when my mom heard that, she turned it off. And I don't want kids to have to lose like the hope that I'm trying to instill in them because mom won't let them listen to it. Yeah, and he's he really, he's able to affect and impact more people, you know, by having a shoe be price conscious, you know, it, mm -hmm. it allows all of his consumers, regardless of, of what, it, you know, what your situation is, the opportunity to afford it. Um, you know, we talk a lot about what we, do and what we did to the shoe and, and how it was designed and why. And I think the key thing is is uh, with us being in Portland and him being in Portland, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's, he's an artist, right? He's a musician, he's a basketball player. Everything we did in designing this shoe and creating this shoe was built off of Athlete Insights, was built off of the relationship that we were able to build, having them, um, you know, 10 miles away mm -hmm. or whatnot. Uh, and so what you get is you get a shoe that's in incredibly personal, uh, and incredibly specific to what he wants to represent and what he wants to shoot, shoot to represent. How far does the budget kind of like constrain you or does it? Since he wants everything to be fairly affordable, does that yeah. limit you guys a lot or? It's a great creative challenge, right? So how do you still try to build and design the most advanced shoe, mm -hmm. the most technical, most you know best performing shoe, but doing it on a budget everybody operates and lives on a budget so we should all be able to relate to that and so that that's that's up to the team to figure out how we can bring it to life mm -hmm. and bounce allows us to do that underfoot but Damien also talks about you know being a kid he he hated to have to break in shoes before he could wear them to practice or to a game. Yeah. And so what we did here on the upper, and you know, it's a, it's a great technology also for the price, is we have forged mesh or fused mesh. And so it, it stays nice and soft. And so like right out of the box, like you're not gonna get crease pressure and points, but it's also very durable. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, adding those seemingly com competitive um, features into like one one panel or, or one material mm -hmm. is the kind of problem solving that we have to do um, you know when you're when you still need to make a shoe that's ultimately affordable yeah, infused know? mesh is is an incredible innovation you know we talk it seems like in the industry innovation always uh, is focused around cushioning mm -hmm. and really there's there's tons of innovations that you can have and put into shoes that that make product that advance products and make products better and and with this with this shoe we really wanted to offer an, an upper technology and, and fused mesh allowed that it allowed Damien to take a shoe straight out of the box put it on his foot and go practice or go play in a game uh, for, while staying durable for as well. people that don't know what fused mesh is mm -hmm. is it just the mesh plus the fuse or is it yeah. a specific type of knit? So it's it's actually a specific type of yarn content. It's called a TPU. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a TPU based So there's plastic mesh. in it. So yeah, so it's actually some of some of the, the yarn in it is um, has a plastic base to it. Okay. And so you can kind of feel it it feels yeah. different, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like a like a prime knit. No. Um, and it, it's a, a little bit more uh, I don't know if you call it rubbery or buttery. Um, I call it crispy. It's crispy. Some, yeah, well, it's got, got some crisp to it. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then we actually mold it and we shape it and we um, so fuse is this, it. Is this so part of the heat process? That's mm -hmm. part of the heat process. So what's that? Do, what that's doing is it's taking a lot of the fibers that are looser that provide you know the softness mm -hmm. um, and allows allows it to not have to break in and it actually fuses them so together. This, this is not an overlay. 
No, that's yeah. the same. That's, that's the, the exact material, same material. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And so, you know, as it wraps around, that's why, like, on the toe tap and here where you drag your foot, you know, it's it's actually fused. And so there's it's not an actual extra additive process. So you're able to keep it lighter and more durable all just in one piece? And breathable as well. I mean, strategically where the shoe is fused is, is to allow for durability. So okay. you look at where... Uh, you know, it's fused along the, the midsole and where the midsole and upper meet as, as well as the inside medial toe areas that, that through um, You know product testing we see a lot of shoes start to break down mm -hmm. And we, re we really wanted to focus and make sure that this shoe was durable so that kid that is buying it for hundred and fifteen Dollars can wear it all all season and, and all year on and off court. Have you used this on other? Adidas products is that is this something new? It's yeah, it's a it's a newer technology um, that, that you might be seeing elsewhere. Is this the absolute first? Yeah, yeah. So we have not seen this in a previous. No, and and, and that's where we go from like Dame's first shoe, second shoe, you know, into the third. A lot of his um, his approaches are really similar. You know, mm -hmm. like he hasn't completely switched styles of play or, or athlete needs. He challenges us and he says, okay, well, I want basically the same, the same ingredients, but I want the shoe to be completely different. And so that's again, like a really significant design challenge. For instance, like this quarter panel is something that, that people see and they focus on right away. Mm -hmm. um, this has actually a unique story in itself, uh, but it ties back to him being a man of the people mm -hmm. and wanting to create a shoe that people can kind of take and make their own. And so he wanted it to be customizable and understanding that not everybody has the same foot shape, not everybody um, plays the same style. And so this really allows the opportunity to take it and in individualize the fit. And then from um, the way that we've kind of design the shoe, uh, there, it leads to infinite kind of color blocking and, and options to, to change up the look of the shoe. And so you'll be seeing that um, in my Adidas. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish editing this and then I'm going to upload it so that everybody can watch and enjoy. While you're seeing this, you're already watching it and hopefully enjoying. God, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Big thank you to Adidas for taking me out there to Portland. I had a great time. And uh, until next time, guys, have a good one.